friends. Stick around to the end of this video and you will have a chance to win an Amazon gift card worth $50. See how. Hi friends, welcome to my humble homestead and garden side chat. Today we are gonna review this High Sapintia air fryer oven. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that my oven actually has an air fryer built in, which I love. I love using an air fryer for cooking things. It makes the things crispier, taste better. You can use less oils if you want, if you're trying to cook healthier. So there's many benefits. I was given this to review and to try out. I first was thinking, well, you know, I have an air fryer in my oven. And so for me, what's the benefits of it? And then the more I thought about it, I thought, you know, what's so nice is in the summertime, I won't have to heat up my entire house because of this. Number one, you don't have to preheat. Number two, it takes up about half of the energy. So it cuts your energy bill in up to 50%. So I'm really excited to try this. Also, as you see, I did make some space. I like moved my Keurig and stuff. I made some space on my counter because I wanna see, I'm gonna take it out of the box. We're gonna open it, unbox it. The outer box that came in, it was wedged in there so good and so tight. So the way that they packaged it was so secure the way it came was awesome and I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put it up here I'm gonna wash off the trays it comes with a fryer tray a, you know a bunch of stuff so I'll take and show you those I'm gonna wash those out and then I'm gonna wipe out the inside with a warm cloth and then we're gonna get I'm gonna try some things with you but I'm gonna put it here because then I was thinking the nice thing also with preserving season or even in the winter, if I need, you know, I don't have a double oven and if I needed a second oven, I would have two ovens here because it not only does the air frying, it also broils. I was looking on the side here, let's see. It broils, barbecues, grills, toasts, bakes, and it dehydrates. My dehydrator is almost always <laughs> full during preservation time. So this dehydrates and it has a rotisserie in it. So I'm really excited to, to try this with you. I'm gonna unbox it. I'll get it out on this counter for you. We'll take a good look at it. And then I'm gonna try some things in it. We'll cook a couple simple things together and see how it works. All right, see you soon. Okay, friends, welcome back. So I got this out of the box. Look at how beautiful it is. It actually matches everything. It's beautiful chrome stainless steel. My dehydrator is the same. My oven is a black on stainless steel. I'm very happy that it fits on my counter. Now, it was packaged so well. You know, if you've watched my channel, that is one thing that's super important to me. So this, I mean, the first box I got out of it, it was hard to get out of that box. It was just really packaged in there and then if we look at here let's see what it comes with so they give you a hot mitt so you get a hot mitt with it which is always nice these are the rotisserie forks so you have forks two forks for rotisserie you have a rack you have a fry basket and this is a drip tray this is highly recommended to use even though I'm gonna open this up it does have a crumb catcher but using the drip tray help protect the heating elements from you know any oils or anything like that that will drip down so definitely highly recommended I am going to clean these off I did wipe out the oven if we look here on the left hand side we have the control button so here's the power and then if we look it lights up like here's toast bake different options and then we can on the right hand side we have the dial 
And you can hear that lovely. And mine is in Fahrenheit. If you're in, this is, uh, oven is very big in, in Europe as well. So it does have Celsius. All my Canadian friends, it does have Celsius. So that works as well. And if you need to change the time or the temperature, you can change the time or the temperature. I am really liking this so far. So that's how that works. Then it comes also the manual, also a recipe book. So what I thought I'm going to do is I haven't eaten today yet. I've been busy out <laughs> trying to put some patio furniture together, which is always fun. That is not my gift, putting things together. Another thing I'm happy this came all assembled. Thank you. Thank you for this being assembled. And since I haven't eaten, I wanted to try what, what did they have in the recipe book? So I went through the recipe book to see what I have. I'm going to start by making some smashed avocado on toast. And then after I have that, I'm going to sit down and eat that because otherwise I'm going to be too hungry. So then I was looking and they have an unfreeze section in here too. So you can unfreeze something if like you just want to take some meat from your freezer and then put it there. So I'm going to take a steak out and then I'm going to do an air fryer oven steak. So let me go ahead and first get these washed up and then I'm just going to cut up. I have an avocado and some bread here. So I'm going to get these little prepped up and then I'm going to try this avocado toast. And that'll be the first thing that we try this oven out. I'm really excited to give it a try. But look at this. Perfect. I actually have a double oven and this one, it's summertime here. It's in July is not going to heat up my kitchen. Okay, so we are ready to go. When I was washing, I noticed that the rotisserie tools were attached with these little plastic things to the rack. So just make sure that you remove <laughs> these little plastic things and the rotisserie thing from the rack. I'm sure you all are smart enough to figure that out. Knowing me, I would be like, why is my house smoking? And I would be baking plastic things. Let's make some smashed avocado toast. It says take two pieces of bread and toast it in the air fryer oven. So that's what we're gonna start with. Two pieces of toast, dial it back. Oh, it has a light and it has a fan. So when you're baking, it has a fan on there. There's the toast. Okay, I'll get it down here, people. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of really digging this oven, you guys. Okay, so there we got it on toast. And now I'm gonna push start, right? Start, start, voila. It's toasting and it has a light. Now, if you want to save energy, you can turn the light off. That is kind of saving a little more energy. Now, while that's toasting, in the meantime, we will go ahead and prepare our avocado topping for it. It says one large avocado pitted. So let's take the pit out. That's funny. I've never actually made an avocado toast recipe. I've normally just like salt, pepper, avocado, and breaded on toast. <laughs> so this will be interesting. I'm kind of excited to try an actual avocado toast recipe. On the composter. That's another thing I'd like to try is a, I want to try one of those electric kitchen composters. I would love that just because in the winter, more so in the winter when I can't get out to my composter, in the summer I'm fine because I can go outside to my composter and I love that. But in the winter, you guys have any uh, one of those, let me know what your thoughts are those um, on those kitchen composters that turn everything in just to compost right in your kitchen. And then it says two teaspoons of lime. So I'm just gonna juice a half a lime then. love the smell of lime. Sea salt and ground black pepper. Here's some salt and some pepper. It does say a pinch of chili flakes. So I have a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. I'll just put a pinch in. This is probably optional. If you guys don't like any spice in there, you could leave that out. So then I'm just going to kind of mix this up here with a fork. I also add a little garlic in there too, if you'd like some garlic. One minute left. I love that you have a timer on here too, and it tells you how much time is left. So I have a toaster oven. That's what I normally toast my toast in. And I'm always wondering like, how much time do I have left? Oh, there we go. And so let me get a plate and I will 
So this also is on Amazon, this oven. I will put my link below for this oven on Amazon. I am gonna have a little brunch of this with my homemade yogurt. I made some homemade yogurt and I can link the video below for my homemade yogurt as well. So let me get this spread out. We hit end. All right, so this is my avocado toast and I'm just going to enjoy it with a little bit of my homemade yogurt with some honey on it. I'm going to fix myself a kombucha coffee. I can also link how I make that and this is just going to be a delicious healthy brunch for me. I'm going to go enjoy that so I'm not starving when I continue to cook and then I'm going to look over the book and I'm going to run out to the garden. I'm going to pick some yellow squash out there and some greens and I'm going to see if I can maybe do this, the green, the veggies in here as well. So we'll get a full meal done today. All right. See you soon. Hi, welcome back to my humble homestead. My name is Trina. If you're new here, I like to do cooking from scratch, making food healthy, trying to make as much food that I grow or try to buy from my local farmers. Today, I am reviewing air fryer oven. I have made already some avocado toast. Was delicious, by the way. So now I'm gonna move on to this. This high sapientia oven ha comes with a recipe recipe book and in the recipe book I'm gonna try to do this air fried steak the air fried steak let me bring you down here and show you this calls for a bone in ribeye I'm using what I have I do get meat from one of my local farmers and I actually have a New York strip that is not bone I am gonna put a little bit of sea salt and some pepper and while this is cooking, we are going to make an herb butter that we're gonna put over the top of it. After that, while that's doing, I'm gonna make some roasted vegetables that I'm gonna make inside the air fryer as well. Place in basket of air fryer and cook at 250 for 12 minutes. It still says 450. I'll say 450. I was trying to see if there was one that said, oh, 230 Celsius steak, 450 at 12 minutes. That's actually what we want. Then we're going to push start. I'm going to use this butter here. So I just churned this butter yesterday. I took some out and I did heat it because it says to soften it. It says four tablespoons of butter. However, I'm just doing enough for one piece of steak. So I cut it in half. I'm doing two. Then I went out and I got some herb for my garden. I had some minced garlic in the fridge. So I put some minced garlic in there, some chopped parsley. All right, here's the rosemary, chives, and time. And we are gonna have herb garlic butter that we're gonna top, put over the top of our steak. It does say also halfway through the steak that we're gonna flip it. So I'm just gonna chop up these little herbs, put them in the butter, and then I'm gonna mix it up and keep this butter in the fridge. And then I'm gonna go on to getting my vegetables ready that I'm gonna roast when we're done with the steak. And we will have a full dinner, which I will eat later this evening. Now they say to just wrap this piece of butter in some saran wrap and put it in the fridge. I'm actually just gonna cover it. And then I'm gonna top that over my steak. Nothing like fresh churned butter, fresh herbs from the garden, over fresh meat that I got from a local farmer. I mean, seriously people, you cannot get better than that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some vegetables vegetables and get them marinating in some herbs and oil so that when the steak is done I can throw these in the basket and roast them. So I have a, a yellow squash and a green squash and then I just have a glass pan. I'm going to mix them all in here with some seasonings, some herbs, some olive oil. Here I got an onion. Normally I would use my chopper but most of the stuff is pretty easy to chop and I'm only going to do one onion. If I was doing more, I would take my chopper out. <laughs> As you all know, when I do a lot of batch cooking and chopping, I use that chopper. So I'm just roughly chopping everything since we're just doing some roasted vegetables. And then since I have the other half of this lemon, I'm just gonna squeeze the other half of this lemon juice in here too. Why not? No use wasting it. I just washed, I picked up a bunch of greens out of my garden. Kale and just different greens. And I'm gonna add these to here too. Then I got these baby bella mushrooms at my local store here. They were on sale, so I got those. I'm gonna add some more of my fresh herbs in here. Oh, 
I don't think I, I didn't put my yellow squash in there yet. Let's add the yellow squash. I wonder if we're going to get all these to fit in this basket. <laughs> we will see. Too much vegetables, but we'll cook what we can and then we can do the rest of them later. Got some basil, some thyme, some dill, a bunch of stuff I grabbed out of there. So throw it all in there. I'm gonna add some garlic and some olive oil. Then I'm gonna mix this all up with some salt and pepper and just let it kind of marinate until the steak is done. And then we will roast the vegetables and we'll have an entire dinner done in minutes without heating my house. Anyway, this is resting. I'm gonna go clean up the dishes that I made. I will be right back when the oven beeps. It's almost done for the steak and we'll change it over. Okay, let's check on our steak here. Get my hot pad, pull it out. Mm, mm, that's gonna be a good good medium. So I'm gonna let it rest. I will let it rest on my plate here. And one thing that's really nice about this is that it's stainless steel, it's not plastic. So it does not get overly hot. This is really another great benefit. So let's see how many of these vegetables we can get in here. I think I might, this is a big basket, you guys. I'm gonna get them all in there. That is amazing. You can really cook for a full family in this. I normally just cook for me, but you know I, I like to cook more than one meal because I like to not cook every day, and then I eat leftovers throughout the week. This They all fit easily. Okay, let's push this in. And I think the veggies should probably cook for about 15 minutes is my guess. We're gonna go. All right, I'm gonna do 450 at 12 minutes again for the vegetables. All right, we'll come back when the veggies are done and we will see what we have for a meal. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. So coming up starting August, Jessica from Three Rivers Home does her Every Bit Counts Challenge Pantry. So we're getting ready to do that where we just preserve one thing every day or more if we want to, but just one thing every day. And this is how I went 12 weeks last year without grocery shopping. So I'm going to see how long I can go this year. In lieu of that, a lot of the things that I've gotten I've gotten off Amazon or different sites because I do live out in the country and I don't always go in. I have a $50 gift card for Amazon that I want to give away to my viewers. Any of my viewers who have used any of my links my affiliate links below. It does not cost you anything if you shop already. You already shop on Amazon. You've tried any of the links that I've provided. If you've used any of the products through my links, I would like you to know what you've tried, how you like it. If you've tried anything similar, you can also use my Amazon link below. It does help me, help my channel. It does not cost anything extra for you if you're buying it already. So I'd like you to write below what you bought, what link you did it through. So for example, if you got the potting soil from Vermont Potting Soil and you use that link, write that below. And then what you used, did you like it? Did you not like it? If you tried something different, then I will enter you into the drawing for the $50 Amazon gift card. So I'm gonna add this to the videos for the rest of the month of July and then August, because August is when the Every Bit Counts Challenge and I would like someone to have that so if they wanna buy anything that they wanna use for preserving, put it towards a dehydrator, put it towards uh, anything, you know, anything they want to use towards Amazon. If they want to use it for salt or, <laughs> or if they want to use it for kefir grains or uh, anything. So I just wanted to get that out. I wanted to do the drawing August 1st. Then I'm going to do that drawing on August 1st. So use a link in the affiliate links below, write what you got, and you will be entered in for a Amazon 50 $50 gift card that will be drawn on August 1st. I hope you win. I, and I can't wait to find out and see who won and see what they use it for. I'm hoping that that will be posted too. All right. Thanks so much for watching. You guys be blessed. Have a great day. Bye.
Let's pound it out. <laughs>